Alright, um, don't mind the background, uh, I had a party last night, uh, one of my girlfriend's friends was going back to Mexico, so, um, that's where all that shit is, anyway, and I have a cold right now, so my voice might seem a little bit lower than normal, whatever, and point is, um, I want to read something off to you, I'm not, I'm not going to say which video I got this from, and, uh, which video I got this from, or anything else, or even the name of the, um, name of the user, but I'm just going to read something off. Uh, uh, the original, well, no, let me just go to the last one. Um, quote, so the main point of being out, I'm, I'm reading this just as they say it, um, just as they wrote it. So the main point of being outside your comfort zone to develop yourself as a person, you missed then, right? I'm reading it as they wrote it. Uh, the point was that BJJ is extremely effective, is an extremely effective way to develop yourself and find out about reality by rolling with someone who can kill you. I found out a shitload about life just by rolling with people who can do whatever they want to me. And that's it. And that comment is pretty much what is pretty much like the atom that destroyed the universe as far as uh, me deciding to do it. I've, I've wanted to do this video for the longest time, for at least about a year and a half. And every time I thought about doing it, I'm just like, eh, you know, whatever. But I happened to come across this video replying to somebody else that made a, com um, a comment about something I made. And then I just happened to scroll down and saw that one. So... I'm just going to lean into the entire martial arts world, and probably since the biggest one now, or the most popular one, or the one that makes the most noise despite its size, is the uh, whole jujitsu community, right? Community, everything's a community in today's day and age. But martial arts in general, be, be, be it whoever it is, as somebody that's taken multiple martial arts, um... I, I, I can attest this because I used to hear this exact same thing back when I took it from way back when up until when I was 18. Um, so, here's basically what I'm saying to you people. If you honestly are going to learn about life and think that martial arts fucking <laughs> teaches you about life, you might as well commit suicide right now. You might as well kill yourself. Okay? I'm sorry. You're not going to... Oh. I don't think anybody knows all of the things needed to live life. To, to, to exist in life. In, 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 in this life. But I can tell you right now, for example, one thing that people should, should probably learn in life is finances. Hmm? Finances. You are not going to learn finances by learning how to throw a punch or an elbow or do a spin kick or roll on the fucking ground like a kid, like these jiu-jitsu people do. You're not going to learn finances that way, okay? Whatever job you do, well, whatever job you do, um, are you a computer engineer? Are you an astronaut? Well, is astronaut really a job? I mean, how many times do you... Um, are you a mechanical engineer? Are you a accountant? Are you a welder? How the fuck does learning about guards and arm bars and all that shit, or learning about fucking 1080 spin kicks and fucking tornado kicks or jabs and cross, how does that teach you about that stuff? Hmm. That stuff, whatever job you do, being the thing that most of us, if not all of us, need a job to make money in order to live. This shit fucking kills me. You know, it, it, it's like to live, I mean, to learn about life, you 
Well, maybe not travel in today's day and age. Today's day and age, you can just sit on a fucking computer and learn all there is to learn book-wise about probably the entire planet and everywhere in it. But to experience stuff, you need to go travel, not sit in a fucking dojo, spinning around on the ground or spitting in the air or fucking bobbing and weaving past uh, focus mitts or some shit, okay? Um, my point is mainly this. Martial arts does not teach you about life. Whatever the hell you're learning about life is probably wrong. <laughs> if you're learning it from martial arts. Teaching some, learning how to punch is not going to teach you how to effectively live in life and how to effectively deal with social dynamics in life. Learning how to kick or throw a knee is not going to do that. Learning how to fucking... Do whatever, pick anything in fucking jujitsu, anything at all is not going to teach you about that. Okay, you need to learn other stuff that has nothing to do with martial arts. What are you going to learn in martial arts? How to defend yourself. That's it. That's all martial arts was ever intended for. Okay, all the old ancient martial arts. That's all they were intended for. They were not intended to be any kind of life way you look at life and lifestyle. No, motherfucker. Look, these people are coming. We had no fucking access to weapons, so we damn well had to use these and these heads, shoulders, knees, and toes, whatever, to, to stay alive and not be fucking killed. That's what martial arts was for. All this bullshit that people, uh, it's probably just marketing, really, to the weak and desperate, to the mentally weak, not, not even physically weak at this point, but the mentally weak, oh, I had no direction, I would have been in jail, I would have been this if it wasn't for martial arts... <laughs> martial arts doesn't save you from a spiraled out of control life any more than learning how to fix cars could have done that and you go and focus your energy into cars any more than I don't know meditating I don't know shit <laughs> any more than uh, learning how to build houses any more than any more than whatever else but people you need to get up well, People, you need to get the fuck off this, okay? And I see this more now with the jujitsu people since that's been the latest thing to come on the martial arts scene. And everybody's, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are busting a nut over this shit. Or again, maybe just a few people, but they make the most noise. So it seems like there's more than there actually are. It's sad. It really is. It's really fucking sad. When I was taking Taekwondo, I did not think that it changed my life and gave me anything other than the knowledge of how to fucking throw proper kicks. When I was doing boxing, I learned how to punch. I didn't, I didn't gain some philosophical outlook on life by being able to form my hands like this. And then snap it across some motherfucker's neck or, or neck or face or whatever jaw. Mm -hmm. When I finally took some Muay Thai and learned how to properly throw some elbows and knees, good technique and hit proper points for the most amount of damage, I I I didn't reach some enlightened fucking Lord Jesus Christ or fucking Buddha enlightenment on life. Just by knowing how to fucking knee a motherfucker in the solar plex. I, no. <laughs> what did those things teach me and all the other martial arts that I took? Uh, karate and all that shit. Um, it taught me how to punch, kick, throw some elbows and knees. Spin, kick somebody and, and, and not like fucking go off. Uh, it taught me how to knock a motherfucker out. Which usually was the people smaller than me because they seem to be the ones that always wanted to fight me for some odd reason. People my size tend to leave me alone. I don't know. Um, made no sense, but whatever. But my point is this, people. you If you are looking to martial arts to teach you about life, then you're already lost. <laughs> okay? If you're looking to martial arts to teach you how to defend yourself, yeah, okay, fine. I'm not going to look to a gun to teach me about life. I'm going to look to a gun to defend myself. I'm not going to look to... A car, the knowledge of building a car and the whole dynamics of it to teach me about life. Uh, to learn about cars to be able to transport my black ass from here to there. 
So what is going to teach you about life? Living life, which is a lot more than martial arts. There's more to life than fucking jiu-jitsu, more to life than fucking martial arts in general, more to life than work, more to life than play, more to life than any one thing. <laughs> so to sit here and take one thing and to think that it's going to teach you about life, you're an idiot. And chances are, since you're paying for this shit, you're going to live to regret being an idiot. But hey, I know what I just said because your instructor needs the money. Uh, and the last thing he, God forbid she, hopefully he, needs is my black ass um, coming in here, starting shit, giving you all ideas. So, for anybody who chooses to listen, fine. But uh, for you people that sit here and say that martial arts taught you about life instead of just one small asp, one atom out of an entire fucking universe of life, which is, I don't know how to defend yourself. I mean, hell, if, if, if that's not the first thing that martial, that anybody says martial art taught them is how to defend themselves, then they're lost, and you should probably run from them. Because that's all martial arts is supposed to do. It's not supposed to teach you about anything else apart from how to defend yourself. At least the functional martial arts. Now, when you start getting into some other bullshit like that Korean martial art where you... Half of it is just clapping your hands. I forgot what the hell that shit's called. Sub uh, I'll have a link to it. I'll have a link to it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, then, uh, whatever the hell that's supposed to teach you. I'll have a link to it. You'll see what I'm talking about. But again, martial arts is there for self defense. And if it's doing more for you in other areas than self defense, you need to stop. <laughs> and you certainly need to not pay for it. Uh, and, 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 and that's it. You all have... Uh, it's December 29th. You all have a nice 20, rest of 2015.